What's up? I'm Moana Turtle. So today we have a very interesting um, Japanese promo Pokemon video. Uh, so a while back we did a video about the screen promos, and so this is a follow-up. Uh, I did have gotten some some requests to do this video uh, in the past, and sorry it took so long. Uh, but we're here to talk about the screen promos. Um, so I believe this in in Tokyo there was a museum um, exhibit featuring. I don't remember the artist's name, but essentially the, those the the screen painting, um, and they created some Pokemon cards to kind of like uh, because of it as like that theme. So we're going to go to eBay real quick and just take a look at how these cards have uh, have been the value has changed over time. So these are all sold listings, and for the first three we're looking at, or first four we're looking at PSA 10 specifically. Um, so for Psyduck, looks like uh, man, like 80s. Sometimes it's unclear where some of these offers go to, but this one 98 for PSA 10. Um, although it's low as 50, that's interesting. It's a pretty good deal. And so that's that's the Psyduck, and this one, uh, the first three are were a little bit easier to get um, and then they have a actually we'll just kind of go through them for Eevee next up uh, very similar numbers I believe so the first three kind of like came together I think you just had to buy some some cards and you got all three uh, looks, looks like the range anywhere from like 60 if you're lucky all the way to 80s Oh no, it looks like around 60 something for Eevee actually I'm surprised that side hook was more than Eevee maybe it's just a little bit harder to grade and then Rowlet for the third one seems to be about that uh, uh, low low mid 50s. Uh, every once in a while, someone bought one at the buy now price. So yeah, 50s, 60s for PSA 10. Um, I think I've heard someone say like maybe like a 40% hit rate for PSA 10. Uh, then we move on to some of the big bigger heavy hitters. We got Pikachu himself, and this was the one that I thought was going to be the biggest hit of the the five. Uh, it being Pikachu, and I think this one you actually had to go to the museum uh, to get it. I think the first three you just had to buy like two packs or something, you get one of them. Uh, Pikachu you actually had to get the museum. Yeah, so it was a retrospective of Ed, Ed, Edward Munch, I think, um, for the screen promos. And so Pikachu looks like the PSA 10 is fetching around, uh, looks like low 100, just over 100. Uh, but hey, that that's, that's amazing. This card's not even that old. Um, but I wonder how the supply, maybe the supply dried up. Now, Mimikyu. So Mimikyu, the only way you could get was buying this little uh, portfolio thing. And uh, I'm guessing supplies of that were very limited. So this one, we're just looking at straight up, you know, some of them are graded, some of them are just the card raw. And uh, so like 124, 140 for just the card, uh, if you, for the portfolios. And these are all sold. 189, 172, oh my gosh. And then we'll move to... PSA 6 or 65. Then we move to the PSA 10s. We're talking oh, close to 300. Absolutely insane. Uh, it did not occur to me, or I guess anyone, um, how scarce this card would be. So like mid 200s. Uh, this card has just aged so well. And I'm guessing supply dried up. Um, I think when it, when the cards first came out, I think you could get them for like 40 bucks. I think that's where like about the price that I picked up mine. Uh, so now um, this is also kind of like a PSA uh, video in like the cards I want to send, send to PSA. So we're going to switch views to, so this is my Scream collection. And since they're Japanese cards, we're going to go from right to left. So our first stack, and notice that a lot of them are still like in the, the original packaging. We have the Rowlets. And um, so I think, yeah. For some reason, I think like SM Pratt or something said like he had like a 40% or something. I, I remember that the hit the PSA 10 was by no means guaranteed. So we have a bunch of Rowlets that eventually want to send the PSA. I believe um, you can get it graded in the sleeve thing. It's more expensive, but the the case it comes in is kind of awkward looking. So I most likely wouldn't do that. But I left myself that option uh, by just leaving them these sleeves for now. Um, if I decide against that, I'll just open them before I send them off to PSA. And then we have some Psyducks. So by definitely they're not all tens, but hey, who knew that the Psyduck would be the most, uh, the one with the of the first three, the one that fetches the highest price. That was not, especially when we got Eevee. Like all right, Rowlet, you know, I'm not sure how popular Rowlet is, uh, but then here's the Eevee. 
such cool cards and like they have like one of the Pokemon in the background so there's a Psyduck in the background so we have some EVs as well uh, yeah this is why I want to get into PSA grading and why I might have to go with like that bulk pricing which is like eight dollars card but it'll take I don't know for a, a year or so half a year or something to get it back and then we move to some of the heavy hitters we got Pikachu uh, actually, the price, the Pikachu price has not really gone up that much. I think um, when I picked these up, I thought this was going to assume to be the biggest one. Uh, so it's actually pretty expensive, and I don't think the price has gone changed very much. Maybe that one, the supply, they just they just printed an abundance of them. And then the heaviest hitter is Mimikyu. Uh, I I regret not picking up more of these. The the price has um, I guess like quadrupled no maybe just tripled in the uh you know these cards aren't even that old um maybe like six months or something actually i could be wrong there uh but yeah price has just skyrocketed and uh hopefully i get some tens out of these so yeah that's um kind of a bit of a collection flex i guess but yeah this is why i do need to get into that the psa grading oh even though the cards are probably safe in these uh you know the, obviously the psa slabs would be better better way just to protect it and kind of like uh, keep that value um so yeah let me know in a comment below um what are your thoughts on these promos do you think the price is inflated what is this just like um a phase of the hype uh do you have were you uh able to pick up any of your own and kind of like uh what what was the price of you picked them up at and uh let me know what your thoughts are down below um but thanks for watching guys a uh, bit of a different video and we'll kind of do this through um continue to do this through some of my raw collection that will be graded eventually um but yeah thanks for watching like comment subscribe all down below i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you guys next time peace